Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to make your own liquid culture medium. My name is Deborah, and the mycologist in the video is Apex Alexander, and together we are needle juice fungi. If you like this type of content, please take a minute to subscribe to our channel. To get started, you'll need a mason jar, a custom liquid culture lid, 300 milliliters of water, Caro's light corn syrup, light malt extract is optional, Paptone bacteriological is optional, aluminum foil, and a pressure cooker. What's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make a simple um, liquid culture recipe. Uh, I'm gonna show you a simple way, and then I'm gonna show you my recipe. All you really need is water. You need your customized lid. Um, you can order these pre-made. We'll put the link in the description for some. You can get on Amazon, but I like to make mine. I just uh, take a quarter inch drill bit, drill a hole, drill another hole, and then I buy these little um, injection ports. These are good for liquid culture lids, and then I just micro pour tape that side. But um, we'll, put, we'll put a link in the description for some. We we'll get you uh, a couple jars. I use uh, pint jars some distilled or purified water and caros. This is all you need right here is caros and water. Um, you could also use honey. We're not using honey today, but I'm going to show you the caros and water recipe. And I'm going to show you my recipe, which I like to put a little pinch of light malt extract and also a little pinch of um, Peptone Bacteriological. Um, so that's gonna help give you some robust mycelium like this, very thick. Show you another one, some more. So that's what my recipe gets you. I like my liquid culture clear and I like it thick. So all we're gonna do is start out taking our jars, putting these to the side. We're gonna go ahead and fill these up to the 300 milliliter line, which is about a pint. Boom. Boom, 300 milliliters. So I use 300 milliliters of water. We're gonna put the recipe in the description too, also with the instructions, in case you missed something. Um, so what I like to do before I add any of my, um, sugar or my nutrients, I like to microwave these, um, heat these, this water up so everything dissolves properly. So I'm going to go ahead and mic microwave these. I'll be back in a second. All right, y'all. All we did was, uh, I heated up these two 300 milliliters of, uh, water. This is actually 600. So 300 here, 300 here. I just heated these up in the microwave for two minutes just to um, get that water hot so all my stuff dissolves properly. So first, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the simple, I'm gonna do just caros and water in one. So with 300 milliliters of uh, water, all I do is I take one tablespoon of caros corn syrup, and put the link, you can get this on Amazon, you get this at the uh, grocery store. Just gonna give it a mix. And it's gonna dissolve properly. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the same with the other one. A tablespoon to the 300 milliliters of water. And that's all you need, really. A lot of people just use liquid, uh, or just use Karo's corn syrup. So I'll put that there. So also, 
this helps for when um, your mycelium starts growing in the liquid culture. This helps to mix up your mycelium and break it up so you can pull it up in a syringe. So it helps if you get these. We'll put the link in the description for these magnetic stir bars. I like to drop those in there. Um, so this one's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it. This is just water and carols. That's all you need. So this is the basic recipe, waters and carols. 300 milliliters of water, one tablespoon of carols corn syrup. So that's gonna be the, your basic um, liquid culture. And then I'm gonna show you my recipe. So this is also 300 milliliters of water with um, one tablespoon of carols already in there. But I'm gonna add some light malt extract. And get the lid off. So I like to add one and thirty two teaspoons, thirty second of light malt, just a little bit. That much, not much at all. And then I like to take one sixty fourth teaspoon and add this peptone it's that much simple put that in there lid on everything go ahead and give it a mix so this is my recipe, y'all. This is 300 milliliters of water, a pinch of light malt extract, and a pinch of peptone. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it. So these are ready for the PC. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I get ready. I get these ready for the pressure cooker. You wanna tighten the lids and then loosen them a quarter of the way back. So not all the way where they come off but to where the steam can get in there and sterilize everything properly in the pressure cooker and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some aluminum foil and just place these over the top so no water gets in through the filter patch into the lc so my lids are a little loose but not too loose and these are ready for the pressure cooker what we're going to do is we're going to pressure cook these for 35 minutes um 35 minutes is plenty enough time to um properly sterilize these and get these ready for inoculation once we do that we'll inoculate them and we'll go from there all right y'all we're gonna go pressure cook these one more time like i said 35 minutes um at 15 psi 35 minutes at 15 psi all right y'all once our 35 minutes is up we're going to allow the pressure cooker to cool and depressurize naturally once the jar is cool enough, remove the aluminum foil and tighten the lid. Your liquid culture medium is now sterile and ready for inoculation. Well, that's it everyone. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll show you how to introduce mycelium into the nutrient-rich medium we've just prepared. Much love, y'all.